feels to chew five gum. Bro, unloading his whole f 10 years of not f jacking off on me. Like, f you're forced to fight this goddamn boss that jumps around and f shoves his f white f to you. Our yellow f demon f mixed with. F Stimulate your senses. Hey, what is up, guys? This is my new to pro video on Arcane Odyssey. And since it's still early access, there isn't much to do in this game. And it's going to be very easy to get to max level. That's why it's going to be one video and not series. So let's go ahead and wake our character up. What you want to do is you want to go to menu and go to settings. And right here, dodging method. This is something very important. Change it to something you like. Me personally, I like shift. All right, make sure to not take these chests, right? So you... Private storage. Do not steal it. It's going to ruin your fame. Oh, yeah, by the way, to uh, go lock screen, press Alt. All right, complete quest. So these quests are pretty easy. First one, we're going to go ahead and accept this. All right, so you go to this green diamond over here, and it's the same spot for everyone. So all you got to do is jump down right here. Uh, the floor is broken, so that's unfortunate. But you can see it right there. There we go. We got it. Earn this quest in. Now we should level up from here. And food. It shouldn't be hard. All you gotta do is put anything inside it, right? Hold your food out right here. I guess you gave us mushrooms. You add. Add that. Then cook. There we go. Talk to him. Boom. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Okay. We gotta go over there. All right. Open these chests, blah, blah, blah. Open, open, open. And now kill them all. Boom, 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 boom. Right, there we go. Three of the pirates have been defeated. Any more chests in here? Doesn't seem to be. There we go. I don't know how that was four quests, but hey, I don't have to do this one, so that's nice. Because this one, you have to go all the way over there, which I don't want to do. All right, so we got to go all the way to that blue marker, and you're going to fight a boss, so be aware. It's not that easy for people fighting it for the first time but i'll i'll tell you some tips uh, when fighting him all right so keep distance he's gonna go ahead and disappear and he's gonna go above you hold block after he attacks attack him back get a good distance away from him hold block above you and then attack and he's dead but i also died unfortunately all right there we go we are now level 10 we have to go all the way back me personally i'm not driving my boat back so i'm resetting all right so that's five there's gonna be a six one right here and then there's the last one over here You're going to have to fight Iris. It's pretty much a stat check. There's no counterplay to it. I'm going to just put everything into weapons. See if I can stat check it right now. If I can't, then I can't. I have to farm a little bit until I get a better weapon. But Iris is... Ooh. But Iris is over here. You're going to have a dialogue then. You're going to go straight into fighting. Because I guess that's how the game works. You'll want to fight with everyone you see. I just want to talk. Okay, <laughs> like there's no dialogue that you can avoid fighting her, so just fight her. Like I'm out of energy. Come on, one more hit. Come on. Okay, dude, I don't know why I'm losing energy. Like I'm not flying in the air right now. Like if you do aerial attacks like this, it takes energy. But I was standing still. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look. I'm standing still. But since I guess I'm under the ground, I'm considered floating. So I'm losing energy, which is kind of annoying. I was like level 18. I managed to stat check her with a dagger. A O dagger. So don't overcomplicate it. Just hold left click. All right. Now, in order to do our next quest, we have to be level 40. And to get to level 40, it takes some time but it's very easy if you do this so talk to tyler accept this quest and this is a repeatable quest so all you do is you run in here 
Run this way. Go over here. We have been playing for 0 0.5 hours. We'll see how long it takes to get to level 40. All right, so now that we're level 40, we can go ahead and complete our next quest, which is pretty far. But since we're level 40, we can upgrade our gear. So we're going to unequip our items, unequip this too. And look how much cash we have because we repeated that mission over and over again. Forge, and now we upgrade the things we want. Look at that, level 40. Do not upgrade it past that, otherwise you can't equip it. Oh yeah, by the way, for those wondering how long it took me, it took me about 20 minutes. Talk to this guy, and uh, we're gonna have to climb up this mountain, which is very, very fun. So just spam T as much as possible. It'll help you climb up this mountain faster. All right, talk to Iris and look down. There we go. Look, spawn changed at the top of the island instead. So now we reset. All right. So now we got to locate order members. A lot of you guys might not know where that is because it doesn't show you where to go, but it's pretty simple. All you do is pop a sky boat. Just go straight. You see that over there? Not that one or that one. We want to go to this one. There we go. Pretty long HP. So I'm just going to reset. All right, here we are, full HP, but all the points we have possible because this boss is pretty hard. God damn. Yeah, so this boss is going to be pretty annoying to fight. Um, And now he's bugged, so uh, his animations are going to be very annoying. Because, look at that, you can barely see him now. I just run and doomed, I'm just going to go next. Oh, his HP, it's, it didn't reset. Okay, it's pretty nice. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. All right, so I guess just keep dying to him until he bugs out, I guess. Or you could leave and level up if you can. I never tried leaving, but oh, I killed him. Oops, oopsie, my finger slipped. Oh no. So now we're gonna be level 61, but we are going to get to level 93 because there isn't like any repeatable quest and your spawn won't be over here and you cannot change your spawn. So you want to repeat this quest until you're level 93. Trust me, it's going to save a lot of time. And if you get bored, just, just go ahead and do something else. Log off for a bit, take a break or something. Here we go. We are level 93. So now I can go ahead and do this mission which is level 61, but now I'm level 93. Oh yeah, by the way, it took me 2.8 hours to get to level 93. I think I was like around level 40 or something. So I went up like 50 levels, but I think that took less than an hour. I'm pretty sure I was at like two hours of play time. Now I'm at 2.8 hours. Here we are, and we're gonna go over here, right? The dialogue, boom. Um, we're gonna do this quest also, cause this quest is like really easy. All you do is accept it, walk here, and it's done. Now, what about this guy? I don't know what you do. Uh, oh, the lost hat, that's right. Hat is right over here. Here we are. All right, let's speed run this quest line. It shouldn't be too hard, it's just parkour and stuff like that.
But I didn't even have my weapon out. Thing about this is now that there's people here, I would normally like have to play smarter, but whatever. I spawn here anyways. Oh my god, that's insane HP. But I spawn the shit right in front of him, so it doesn't matter. I run straight back in. I can't the thing is I can't server off because I have these guys at it. But even if I like join, I'ma just like get sent back. He's gonna one-shot me because he does like a crap ton of damage in his last form. So yeah, be careful when he's in this form because he does like an insane amount of damage. Other two forms are alright, but you should still play safe the whole fight to maintain your HP. Because even at level 125, you can still die to him with awakening also. Alright, we defeated him. Nice. Go this way, this way, this way. And once you get to a place that's like this, here we go. Oh, I gotta fight her. Oh no, I gotta heal up first. I'm too lazy to heal up. Bro, this guy came and then now she has double HP, bro. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. What if I just say screw and I climb up this thing instead? But you can't climb. That sucks. All right. We got to fight the king or whatever the lord of ravina bro dude this guy is so annoying to fight because he just jumps around Ooh, 4.5k hp like i'm supposed to solo this the the thing is i don't think he can leave this place All right, so this time I won't lose half my HP the first three seconds of the fight, right? Oh God, I think he was cooking those orbs, not a whole beam into my bunghole. Like, God damn, can I get up? This guy broke my legs. Bro, please get up. Like I'm crippled over here. God damn, bro, broke my goddamn back or something. I'm stuck over here. Holy smokes, bro, shoved this so goddamn deep into my so I couldn't move. Oh, he's shooting more at me. Like, how much you shooting, bro? Bro, unloading his whole 10 years of not jacking off on me. Like, like fighting this boss after getting your awakening would be would be cool and all. But no, you're you're forced to fight this goddamn boss that jumps around and shoves his white to you or yell demon mixed with like that without your awakening so now you're pissed low weak and now you have to fight this goddamn thing that just you need other people with you in order to like somewhat cheese him god damn after like dying five times to him at least there was another person here but there's no way like i feel bad for the people who just don't randomly run into strangers or don't have friends while fighting this boss because you're forced to solo this guy you can't even leave this place i'm pretty sure now I got this pip squeak over here. Ding, 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 like, hurry up and die. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god! What the f is this? He caught his seven boyfriends on me. God damn. And they're zooming. Oh my god. Oh, that thing's gonna ram into. Yo! Yo! Oh, hell nah. Aye. I dodged it. Bro, I'm so lucky they didn't ram into me. No! I gotta go that way. What the hell? Bro, I almost got rammed in the bro. bro I'm pissed.
Like, what the f are all of these? No way they've jumped out of their boat, bro. Holy sh And what the f is this? You think you came up to me? <laughs> Let me see what happened. Like, goddamn, what the f is going on? All right, there's no way they see me from seven miles away, right? I can safely go to the place I have to be. The route is cleared. Yes. It better be cleared after six times of doing this. Dude, they see me. If they see me, bro, you see me from a mile away. I got to get the hell out of here, bro. Please, please. Dude, the route is not cleared. I'm getting chased by two giant boats. Oh, no. And they're jumping out of the boat. Dude, they're crazy. Okay, this one doesn't do ram damage, I'm pretty sure. They're just gonna try to shoot cannons at me. I dodged them though. Fortunately. Please spawn, spawn here. Send my spawn point here. Come on, bro. Yes, my dialogue. Yes. All right, dude. I come here after like four times of dying. Now I got to go to another place and meditate. Oh, I got to be level 119 and up. Crap. Well, I do have missions here still. Quite a bit also. I might as well just do the missions here. Not going to lie. There we go. And level up. Otherwise, you can take his damaged sword and shield to resin investments to repair since he's too... Sure. Just like that, and I'm level 119. I gotta go to that mountain, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Now you're set. Right. Stop that so I don't take damage and jump up. I'm so close to awakening. Hell yeah. I don't even have to fight anything too, so it's so nice. I'm pretty much done. I'm not sure what the correct way to actually get up the mountain is, but... What I did last time is I went up this way. Pretty sure it wants me to explore this place now. Yep. Um, I have to go to this area with water. So where is that place? Definitely not that direction. Yep. Here we go. Yes. Oh, I need to get max level in order to get my awakening. Oh, wait, no. Here we go. Now I get my awakening. Okay, now I do AOE, bro. Look at that. Okay. You can challenge her. Nice. Oh, it's pretty close, too. We can repeat this over and over again. I have a camping stuff, I believe. But I don't think I could use it here. We'll try. We'll try, we'll try. Come on. Ah, uh, like what's the point of a fucking camp? If I can't fucking use it anywhere. I am invading your place. Now, the only thing I have to watch out is for the boss. I think I gotta go that direction instead. Oh! Yo! 
Nice. Then we reset and fighter once again. Then I'll be level 125. Nice. There we go. Level 125. We are now maxed level. It took us 7.7 .7 hours. So the thing is, probably should have taken like five hours if I actually did the storyline and stuff like that without fighting boss. This should be like the average. It should probably take like eight hours to get to level 125. Maybe like five hours if you're committed into doing it. Just getting straight to... Uh, and level 125 and doing the story mode but anyways as per usual i'll see you guys either tomorrow the next day or the day after that peace and have a great day